And it's from this and another image that we're going to model our Spitfire wing. So let's get started. Okay, I think the first thing we'll do is to put in some centre lines. So we'll choose over here construction line and we'll take the center of the nose cone here and we'll drag it right we we'll see down there at the bottom of the screen uh, the line is at 90 degrees so the image isn't exactly square, it's missing the tail by a tiny amount but we can compensate for that so that's our first guideline. The other one is from wingtip to wingtip I think so we'll from here over to here that's 90 degrees or zero degrees <laughs> right oops now it looks to me as though the center line of the ellipse on the trailing edge at least is roughly here or is it at the body or is it there I think we'll take it that the actual center of these ellipses are on the center line in both cases we'll do that which means that we can draw an ellipse and there's two ellipses by the look uh, the trailing edge could be an ellipse and the leading edge is a different ellipse let's have a try see what they look like so we take the center and we drag out to the tip and see how that fits Well, there's a little bit of discrepancy here but it fits near enough around the trailing edge ok we'll accept that now there's the leading edge we'll try again and the leading edge comes out to there now then this is quite different so they say it's an elliptical wing but I'm not so sure so we've drawn that, let's turn off the image and see what we have suppose we will type T for trim and we'll trim out this one there and we'll trim out this one here see what sort of a shape we've got does that look like a Spitfire wing shape? well if it's ellipse that's the, they are two ellipses or part of an ellipse and now we need some more construction lines so we'll expand this a bit we'll use ordinary lines for this now we'll have the snap to grid on and we want one down the middle and I'm going to put some more every full fourth division Now 
there's a bit uh, left over at the tippy but I'm going to deal with that later you'll see how I deal with that later now we need to know the lengths of these construction lines we've put in so we're going to put dimensions on them which is this line here Whoops. I think it's got shifted. Just a minute. With that done, the next thing we need to do is model the wing profile. For that we need another drawing and we load it in with the import file over here and we need the drawing. Now we see that uh, this is the wing profile we're going to be using and it's very small here. We've got a reference line here five millimeters long so it's looking as though our image here is only about five millimeters long so to make life easier for us I'm going to expand this drawing so first of all we need to reduce it bring it down into this into the corner with the select activated and the drawing highlighted we get some move handles here so holding down the shift key we can then drag it out and now we see rather than a five millimeter line we've got a ten millimeter line now so we've got 10 20 30 40 50 it's more than 50 millimeters wide the wing there now so that's much better. So now we can go ahead with our wing profile. First we see that I don't think the wing is level with our grid. The drawing's a bit skew. So I'm, although it's saying here an incidence of 1.44 or rather 1 degree 44 minutes, I'm just going to use it make it horizontal just for the purposes uh, purposes of this demo so I'm going to measure that angle to the horizontal oops so looking at the left hand end of the line over there it's saying 2.2 degrees so that is the angle to the horizontal escape so we shall move move this 2.2 degrees 2.2 degrees and there's our wing profile should be horizontal to our grid now parallel with our grid and it looks like it is well that's the first 10 minutes of this 40 minute tutorial so I think we'll call it time there stand by for part two of modeling a Spitfire wing <laughs>